Hi everyone, uh, it's the 8th of August and this is news and prayer points from Christ Church uh, in Charles Moore. I thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, and do a video instead of just writing out all the text on an email. So uh, in, by ways of news items, uh, Lucy did her uh, uh, sponsored bike-a-thon yesterday or bike ride yesterday uh, and she's done a fantastic video so um, that's just going to play after you finish uh, this one of course you could just skip ahead and just get to Lucy's stuff uh, but don't go away uh, let, let's stay with me for just a few minutes uh, a bit of a milestone for Christ Church in terms of uh, recovery from coronavirus and that is the hall was opened this week and we had our first uh, classes it was Linda's fitness classes in this week a and she's left us a video uh, just to tell us about her reaction of coming back and, and restarting her courses hey my name's Linda and I use Christchurch Church Hall for my keep fit classes line dancing classes and step aerobic classes altogether I use five halls for my business I've only returned to two the reason for this is the precautions and being able to make my students feel safe in a big environment. So one of the halls I'm using is Christchurch. I'm really happy to be back and so are my students. Um, Christchurch has made efforts to make the, face, the, the space feel secure. Uh, they operate a one-way system. There are plenty of wipes. Um, there's hand gel and we're able to ventilate the room by opening the doors. So I feel safe back using Christchurch. I hope you do too. Thank you. So Linda won't be the only one restarting her classes. Uh, next week we have uh, NCS classes restarting uh, for the first time in fact, uh, and then the week after that Slimming World will be starting. Uh, and that's just great to see uh, the community starting to use our hall again uh, and seeing people uh, kind of uh, just rediscover what it is to be normal as well so uh, we give thanks for that uh, scarecrow trail is coming at the end of august uh, all the details you can find if you click the right links uh, in this video or in my newsletter uh, you have to res register by uh, the 15th of the month so get thinking about children's themes children's books themes uh, think of a scarecrow uh, Lynn and I are still debating what we're going to do uh, not sure uh, but for sure we'll be putting on a scarecrow interesting this year uh, we've opened it to the whole community so we won't be the only ones doing scarecrows so come on join us uh, in the scarecrow trail uh, which will be the last weekend in August uh, and lastly uh, I, I don't know if this video thing will work or not. Uh, I thought another thing I could try to do uh, is just answer people's questions. So if you have questions about what's going on at Christ Church or what the future is going to be like, uh, why don't you send me a question, email, or uh, uh, apparently the YouTube, you can uh, type comments and questions on the blog. So you could do it in that way, and I'll go and check. Uh, just a couple of prayer points. Could I ask you to pray? First of all, uh, the breakfast packs that we've been sending out. Uh, as you know, uh, Christchurch is um, a pickup point. These are council given uh, breakfast packs for those who are in food crisis over the summer, especially without school meals. And so let's pray for those people. We had a better take up this week, uh, and we know that there is even more demand out there. So let's pray for those who are struggling to feed their families. Uh, over the summer period especially uh, and secondly I do pray for the people in the hall Linda uh, Jane Slimming World and some of the other people uh, for Jane and Linda this is their livelihood and I know although they're glad to be back I think they're still going to be worried that uh, whether ends will meet whether it's a viable business going forward so let's pray for them that uh, they can continue to offer these valuable community services uh, look forward to the seeing you on the service tomorrow. Don't forget about Zoom. Uh, and without further ado, let's go watch how Lucy got on yesterday. Bye. 
Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. It's Lucy here. Um, I just thought I'd record um, my bike ride fundraise. Um, so you're basically with me every step of the way and I think it's a nice idea to keep this as a memory. So tomorrow will be the 7th of August. Um, it's Friday tomorrow and I'll be doing my five mile bike ride around the Memorial Park. Um, I'm going to be setting off at 8.30 in the morning and it's currently nearly 9.30 the day before and I'll be going to bed early because I'll need as much sleep as possible to have the most energy. So I've just got my outfit out with my shorts on my top. It's meant to be really hot tomorrow, that's why I'm getting it done early and I'm charging my fitness watch too so I can keep track of the five miles. I'm so excited and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> morning everyone it's now half past seven the morning of my cycle and i'm just about to have my breakfast so i've got weetabix minis um like a yogurt drink and a glass of apple juice i'm so excited and yeah i um, can't wait and uh, my cycle is in an hour's time hi it's so nice out here today i've got my watch on ready it's now 10 past eight and um, i've got my earphones ready to go and a bag for my phone and i'm just about to get my bike out so this is my bike i've got my helmet full bottle of water ready to go i've made sure my tires are pumped up it's less than 10 minutes until i go now just about to set off at the memorial park there's quite a few people here but it's not too bad and look who's going to join me for some of the way Yay. hi jessica hi. i'm really excited to go <laughs> yeah same go lucy <laughs> here are some clips of me and jessica going around the park on our bikes we're really enjoying it and jessica kindly did two laps with me which was really great um yes here's some action videos <laughs> And there's Jessica doing really well. I've just completely finished and I'm so pleased. I've done over five miles, I've done six, and now I've got a cycle back home, so that'll be even more. Oh, it was so hard on the last um, two laps and it was really, really hot. I can't wait to have a cold bath, but <laughs> I'm really, really pleased. <laughs> I have just arrived home. I'm really hot. I'm so hot. I can't wait to jump in the shower. But I'm so proud of myself. I only expected, well, I wasn't even sure if I was able to do the five miles, but I wanted to push myself to do it. But not only I managed to do the five miles, which was eight kilometers, I pushed myself to do 12, which was in total eight miles. So I'm really, really proud. I've never done so much. Um, I did from here to the Memorial Park, was around the Memorial Park four times and then came back, stopped a couple of times for water breaks, but oh, I'm shattered now, <laughs> but I'm so happy I've done it. To do the whole thing, it was about 55 minutes. Um, oh, and then it was a bit extra to get home as well. So I think in total, it was like an hour and 10 minutes, but I'll show you my exact route in the next post <laughs> this is a picture of my route i tracked it on my phone so i did four laps around the memorial park um and i rode from my house and then back home as well and it says my distance 12.88 kilometers and the time and here are some pictures of me next to my bike um yeah god bless me with such amazing weather and i really enjoyed doing it and completing the challenge hi it's now a bit later on in the day and i've just calculated all of the donations that i've received and i wanted to tell you all the total so the total is <laughs> £1,895. Like, wow, I <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. And I'm really grateful. So thank you to everyone who has supported me. And for those who have supported me through prayer as well. Um, yeah, 
prayer has really helped um, me get through it. And there were times where I thought, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, complete this. But I felt like God was with me and I wasn't in too much pain afterwards either. And I was blessed with such great weather. I'm so glad it didn't rain. Um, yeah, so thank you for all of your support. And I will keep you updated with any fundraising things that I may be doing next and updates with Australia also too. Thank you again and thanks for watching. Bye bye.